Hello friends, welcome back again. I am embarrassed to say this is the third time I record this video. I am out here battle testing how to launch a meme coin or near and getting all the cheeky tips and tricks and just making mistakes so that I can tell you what not to do. So on this tutorial, we're going to go step by step on launching a new meme coin on the near protocol. By the end of it, you'll be able to launch your own meme coin, add liquidity, burn the LP token and more. But before that, I want to give a shout out to the Shih Tzu team. The Shih Tzu team took it upon themselves to bring back the OG token farm. If you've been around for a while, you may remember Token Farm, which was the original way to mint tokens. This is so old, I made a video about this three years ago. On that video, I created the now legendary, if you ask me, AVB token. AVB token, surprisingly, perhaps to some, has not rugged. In fact, I keep losing money and adding liquidity to as many meme coins and coins as possible. AVB token, this is the last shill I promise, is so old indeed that the AVB near pool that I created in that video is pool number 20 on Ref Finance. Just for reference, we're nearing 5,000 pools on Ref. So with that bit of history, let's go back to today. We can see the modern token farm by Shih Tzu. It is very sexy looking. They've added a few extra features such as ranking the tokens by liquidity, links to deck screener, ref finance. One note, they have NFT gated the platform. If you do not own a Shih Tzu NFT, when you click deploy new token, you will see a beautiful sign prompting you to go buy the NFT. It is available on all near marketplace. I personally really like, and I bought one from Meta. Meta just launched, and the innovation from Meta is creating an order book for NFTs. So you can see the depth of price, and you can just buy straight up. You can sweep the floor by swiping. You can make offers to buy NFTs from distressed people and more. I've already bought an NFT, so we're going to go back and create the token for the third time. So the original idea, which is starting to get a little bit old, was to create a near cat with hat token. And this is a play on both near cats, which were the original near marketing animal. At some point in time, some marketing lady at foundation said that they were awful and horrible and they tried to get rid of them. But guess what? We're bringing them back because near cats are amazing. Shout out if you like the near cats. So a near cat we've had also plays on the dog we've had from other ecosystems. Token symbol, when I create near cat, we've had V3 because I made mistakes on V1 and 2. What mistakes, you may be wondering. So the first one to look out for is the amount of tokens you want in circulation. The thing to take into account is that the token will have 18 decimals. So the error that I made for V1 of the linear cut with hat was to not take into account the decimals and I ended up issuing a fraction of one token. So one way to make sure that we're getting the right supply would be to go to a token. Let's see, this one's got 1 billion. It's issue 1 billion near cut with hat as well. Go to the token on near blocks. Go to the transaction where it was minted and then try to find the total supply here on the method. So we'll just copy paste this number, which we know because it worked for another project, that it is 1 billion. And then we'll paste that in here. I mean, alternatively, you could also just like do the maths, you know, how much is 1 billion with 18 decimals? Maybe ask ChatGPT. This to me seems fail proof, considering I've already failed three times, two times. Third one, lucky. Next thing is token icon. So for this one, I went to leonardo.ai and I generated this marvelous, incredible, stunning piece of art. Isn't this the cutest little motherfucker you've seen in a long time? Near cat with hat. Love it. So uh, next thing was to crop it a little bit. Let's upload. And voila, our near cat with hat has been uploaded. 
You might know that it's actually not quite centered. Um, the near cut seems to be a little bit more to the left. I like it. Um, I obviously made a mistake. It's, <laughs> but I, I think it captures the unhinged nature of meme coins, uh, especially this being V3. Clearly, the creator has attention deficit disorder. And I don't want to put the blame on you, but I don't think I would have made these mistakes if I had not been busy about recording. So anyway, um, it is what it is. So the final one, which was also the second mistake that I made, was the owner account ID. So this is the account that will own all the tokens when they are issued. And for now, we'll keep it the same account that we're minting with, which is near cat with hat. The mistake that I made was that I didn't add dot near, which is strange because I can see now that it does mention account doesn't exist. Maybe that should be in red. And it allowed me to proceed with create token. So the create token button, Mario, please disable that shit. Because people like me are losing money. Minting a token is not free. I've paid 2 near 80, 2.82 near twice. I'll confirm that all the information is correct. Okay, yeah, that looks good. Create token, sign transaction. Token creation succeeded. At this point, I want to give a shout out to the in tier bot. So the interior bot, bot notifies subscribers every time a new .tkn near token gets created. This for a little bit was a big advantage because you would get immediate notifications and you could just jump into the latest meme coin. As you can tell, um, this also has some downsides because there's a lot of rug pulls out there. And if we look at the bot now, you can see that embarrassingly, it has notified people of the LP pool that I created, that was when I realized that I didn't have any tokens at all. And then of the V2 created, and now the V3. This has in turn prompted, and I also want to give shout out to the Stopcoin community, where I've had to explain to them that it's not a rug pull. It's me trying to do a tutorial for YouTube. I'm doing this for you guys, please appreciate so yeah, shout out to these communities. So the next step is to provide liquidity on Ref Finance. Ref Finance is the go-to DEX on near. Top bar, earn, liquidity pool section. Top right, create pool. Because it is a new token and it has not been whitelisted by Ref, the first step is to whitelist it. This involves adding the name of the contract, near cat, wait, hat, v. Three dot tkn dot near at token. It will prompt you to sign a transaction, and now we can check if it's one white listed. Yep, near cat with a hat v three, and I've got one Billy. Beautiful. So we go back to liquidity pools, create pool, and now we should be able to select near cat with hat v three. And let's pair it up with near to start with. Now, this step is super important and super tricky. First, we have to choose the fee that we want the pool to charge. Normally, when pools are very volatile, you go for a higher fee to compensate for any impermanent loss of other people providing liquidity. So let's make it uh, 0.6. You could even go higher. Some of the pools that I've created are 1% sign. The second thing that it's super important is that when the pool is brand new and you're the first person adding liquidity, the ratio of the assets that you put in is going to determine the original price. So in this case, if we do 500 million and five near, this, because of the way that these pools on ref work it means that if anyone comes in and buys with a say another five near they're going to take a massive chunk of the tokens so ideally you would want to be adding more near as liquidity pool but that's okay um, this one is for demo purposes only so let's just launch it like this and just like that the pool has been created you should also automatically get indexed by deck screener so if you go to search now and we look near cat we go up uh, near cat with hat and it reflects uh, the liquidity. Oh no, someone has bought. And yeah, off you go. If you want your token to be whitelisted by the ref finance team, you have to go to gov.ref.finance. You can see 
all these proposals for whitelisting different tokens. Maybe you can look at an example of these and what they included. Once they have been whitelisted by the Ref Finance team, the token will automatically be included in the list of tokens available to people. And if they search for it, it would also come up automatically. So obviously it makes a huge difference. The next step after you've created your liquidity pool and added some liquidity would be to eliminate the liquidity pool token or access key. This means that you would no longer have access to the funds that you have put into the liquidity pool. Right now, the account that I control is able to withdraw the money and this is what people call a rug pool. So basically you put a bunch of liquidity in, people trade in and out, they may hold on to the token thinking that they'll be able to sell one day. But if you take all the liquidity with you, there's nothing they can do with the token. So to burn the LP token, what I would do is look up the transaction of another meme coin that has already burned their tokens. And on near blocks, we'll look at the call method that they called. So it is interacting with the ref finance contract and there is an MFT transfer. So FT transfer would be just a regular token. MFT must be the liquidity one. Also a really cool tip on near blocks. Ever since they migrated to the boss, if you sign in with your near account and you go to the smart contract, you will see a new contract tab, which allows you to inspect all the methods in that contract. So we can see all the possible calls that can be made to that contract. Is it and what's really interesting, the front end of refinance only interacts with some of this. So for instance, because most users on a day-to-day -day basis would not burn the liquidity because they actually want to get their money back, the function call to send the, to burn the LP token is not there. So I called this from CLI and we don't have to go into the details for now, but just so you know, there would be two function calls that you have to make from CLI. So the first one would be MFT register, and then the second one will be MFT transfer. And for both, the values would be the same. So the first value would be the token ID, which is the pool number. You can see the pool value if you go to refinance and you open the pool, it would be up on the, on the URL. For the Nearcat with a hat V3, it is 4899. And then the other important value would be the receiver ID. The burner address by default on near is 64 digits, all zeros. And then you would set the amount of tokens that you want to send. This would be your LP tokens. So you say that you want to send one, which is what you have. And then it is burned. So I'm not going to do that right now, but. Let me know in the comment section below if you want a specific tutorial on how to burn LP tokens. We've created a liquidity pool on Ref, but I want to give a cheeky mention to VX because even though Dex Screener doesn't aggregate transactions from VX or liquidity, uh, which is, you know, a big minus for, for meme coins, VX does have a bunch of functionality, which is very appealing to meme coins. So I'll create a liquidity pool here as well. Um, I believe I'm going to have to add the contract here as well. Near cat, we've had v3, the tkn, the near. So the first thing that is really cool about VX is that only one person has to import the token. Now that I have imported it, it will also appear automatically to all the other users. But the other cool thing about VX is that it will ask us for the spot price. So I'll just get that from ref. Let's see. So one year is roughly 56 million. After you enter the spot price, you'll see that there's a few options here for depositing. On ref finance, the default is 50-50%, but on VX, we can actually add single side liquidity. Single side liquidity is pretty bonkers because it basically allows us to add only near cat with hat. What this would be creating is a pool of coins that will be sold in a specific price range and we don't need to have any near to start with. So it's actually the best option to avoid massive spike prices like we see on ref if there's little liquidity. So maybe I'll just add 
yeah, 100 milli. Here we can see the range. So it goes, I just assume that the default range is okay. You can play around with the concentration liquidity here. You can also choose your fee level, which is pretty cool. Different users can provide liquidity at different fee levels on the same pool. So let's just add the liquidity here. And this should create some pretty good arbitrage opportunities between here and Ref Finance. It's really a shame that VX hasn't been able to attract much capital or that other meme coins are not making use of these features because I actually find it extremely powerful. So we are on the pool now. The other cool feature that I really like about VX is that it actually segregates the fees that you earn and it shows you not only the fees that you've earned, but also the historical fee reward. So even if you're claiming your fees consistently, you can still see how much you've earned. The other amazing thing is that it shows you impermanent loss. So it shows you the initial liquidity. We started this position with 100 million Nearcat V3 and zero near, and then you can see over time how the values change between the two assets and the fees that you've earned. Anyway, enough about that. Now the question that I'm sure that you're pondering, AVB just launched a token just like that on screen, boom, boom, bow, bow, just like fucking deranged. What is it gonna do with money? If like real money comes in, you know, some degenerates just go out there and buy stuff. So right here on the air, I'm making a commitment to donate any funds coming into the near cat with a hat uh, sale to Potlock. Potlock, I'll make a video about this one specifically later, is a public goods funding platform. And they have a few pots here or campaigns for quadratic funding. The cool thing about these campaigns is that anyone can contribute money to them. At the moment, it's been mostly the Enier Foundation or the NDC putting money in. There is a round that I'm very interested in called Nerians. It is a round for people that have been making a big impact in the ecosystem. They do not have to be affiliated with a specific project to be able to participate. And this pot or this quadratic funding campaign is looking for funding. So if there are any funds coming in through the near cut with a hat sale. I will be putting all of that near into these pot so you can fund the matching pool over here. And I know the video is getting a little bit long, but I did mention that now you've got a meme coin, you've got liquidity, you've burned the LP, you've explored different DEXs. And with that, friends, we've got the complete tutorial on how to issue your meme coin, distribute, website, everything. Let me know in the comment section below if you found this useful, if there's anything that I missed or anything else that you'd like to learn. And as always, like and subscribe. There will be more videos of this coming through. Without further ado, bye!